okay, so this is my pre-leaving video. I'm on my way to go, well, I'm gonna be on my way to go and get my armpit tattooed and the side of my face. I've kind of got it marked, but I'm hiding it behind my hair. <laughs> um, so I'm getting this armpit done my left one first. I'm going to judge how it is and then if it's all right I'm going to design a epic piece to go here. Knowing me it'll probably be a spider because I've got like lots of spider webs here but I kind of want to get away from the spiders a little bit and do something different so I'm not really sure what I would do. Depends how well I take the pain of this. Um, armpits not something I ever thought I would do. It was actually yet another thing like my stomach and the top of my cooch and my chest and my face and my hands and my throat that I had always said I would never ever get tattooed. So piece by piece, everything I had said I would never get tattooed, I'm getting tattooed anyway. So um, yeah, the reason that I wanna get my armpit tattooed is because I've got like this space here and I don't like, like I'm Asian, so I've got certain areas of my body darker than others. Um, white people have got pink areas and Asians and, you know, darker ethnicities have got darker skin and I'm not gonna go around bleaching my body parts or anything, but I don't like my armpit area at all. And um, I'm also gonna fill up this side with an undersea kind of theme and then my armpit's just a glaring blank spot that I kind of really wanna fill in. Since it's winter time, I'm gonna do it now so that I'm not gonna fuck it up by sweating. This is also gonna be really interesting for me because I, I thought I wasn't gonna make it today because I just started my fucking period. TMI again, sorry. And um, I'm not allowed to take anti-inflammatories because of my surgery. They will fuck up my stomach and they could cause ulcers and things like that. So it's a big no-no. But I was in so much fucking pain. It was almost like ectopic pain today. Um, it was just, I couldn't move. I couldn't even roll over in bed. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't change. I couldn't do anything. I was pretty much immobilized and I had no choice. I like, I felt nauseous. It was probably one of the worst pains I've had aside from when I was actually having my ectopic pregnancy. And so I had no choice. And so I took an anti-inflammatory and now I feel all right. I can still feel the pain in the background, but it's not so bad that I can't move. So this is going to be the first time I've ever gotten tattooed while I'm on my period. Um, so I wonder how that's going to go. Not very pleasant, I would imagine. But uh, I might take videos during. I don't really see how because my armpit's kind of, you know, it's there. Um, but I'll definitely do an update when I'm done. So I guess I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. All right, I'm back. I am so worn out. Oh my God. It was, just, oh, it was so exhausting but it was a very productive day. I wasn't actually sure if I was gonna be able to sit through it because I was like, oh my God, armpit, so fucking scary. But I did. Look, you can see my selfie stick in the shadow. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't wanna sit down yet because I'm gonna go get something to eat because I feel quite sick. But uh, two tattoos today. So I got my side of my face one. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, so I had her mimic sideburns is what I did. So that's what it looks like, a little sideburns. And then I can grow my sideburns back and then the spider down there. I wanted it different than most people have their shit up here. I wanted it a bit lower. And like I said, I wanted it to mimic and to curve with the side of my face so that when I go to get my throat done, I can have it come up here and then I can have some more shit kind of here and it'll just be like a full piece and a full thing here. So that was awesome, um, real quick. I mean, it didn't take long at all. The whole day took about three hours and that's from drawing it, putting the stencil on, taking a break, let her have lunch, took another break, took another break. You know, we took quite a few breaks um, cause she had a painter over doing stuff and um, you know, yeah, talking and showing her stuff on my phone and things like that. So, um, yeah, it still took three hours to do this and my armpit. So I'll show you my armpit now. Uh, it's not done because what we're going to do is uh, there's a space around it. You can kind of see it there already. We are going to, let me just raise that up a bit. We are going to actually color this in here to connect all of it together, but that is what I got. 
so it looks pretty sweet um and yeah, so this is left a bit lighter. We'll probably darken that in, but I think we're going to just shade all this. And I'm going to have her touch this up that the other chick did that. Uh, it fucking spat out the ink and got infected all stupid. So that is what I got. And I'm really happy with it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So that's what it, it kind of looks like. And... Um, and then I'm going to have my mermaid see shit under there. What was really funny is that um, it hurt so much. But what I did was um, I held my boob like this. And so I'm like laying down holding my tit. And as I held my tit, it like didn't hurt as much. <laughs> I don't know why. It was psychological shit or whatever. So I'm just sitting there helping her out. But holding my tit out of the way. But I love it. I think she did an excellent fucking job. It's beautiful pain-wise. It hurt. Um, what hurt the most was probably right here. I would have thought it would have been right here, but surprisingly it wasn't. It was actually here that hurt the most. And it was supposed to have some insects around it, but I, I decided against it. And instead of insects, I told her just to add some red color to the eye and um, add some bloodshot um, veins on it because I felt that adding insects would just kind of take away from it and plus with the fact that I've got insects everywhere else and I'm gonna have like an undersea theme on that side I think that like having insects would just kind of not really go with my whole side so um as far as comparison pain I would say the side is still worse the back of the leg is still worse the throat is still worse this is probably comparable to maybe your stomach or your sternum or your chest. Maybe not even as bad as the chest. It was a lot less intense than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be so bad that she'd do a line and I'd have to tap out. So I was freaking out. I sat there because I don't get nervous for tattoos anymore because I've gotten, I have them everywhere. So it takes a lot for me to get scared. I wasn't scared at first. And when I got there, I was like, fuck. She put the stencil on. I'm like, this is going to suck. What if I can't do it? What if I've just got like this line on my armpit? Am I going to have to grow out fucking armpit hair to cover it or something? I'm like, I'll never do that. But um, I didn't know what to do or what to expect. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to take it as it goes. I'm just going to brace myself. So I was like this. You can see I'm kind of swollen already. And I just breathed. And then she did it. And I was like ow ow it's not that bad but ow <laughs> but it's not that bad but ow and next thing you know like she was done and i was pleasantly surprised i kind of feel like a badass now because i did it and i did it in one sitting because she does armpits she's done a few armpits and they've all had to do it in a couple of sittings and i didn't so i'm pretty proud of myself for that it's uh, another location on my birthday, I'm going to be doing yet another new location, which is going to be my foot for the first time. That's going to be interesting because everybody says that the foot, well, half the people say the foot hurts, half the people say it doesn't. I don't have anything on my feet yet. I quite like my feet because I've got really smooth white feet. Um, so I hadn't actually wanted to get them tattooed, but now I kind of do. I might as well. I'm tattooed everywhere else, so I might as well just do it. So I'm going to do it and um, I'll probably make a video about that as well. I literally just got home for having this done and I'm sore and a bit swollen, but it's not even like I'm stiff or not able to move. I'm not looking forward to the next few days because I cannot put deodorant or shave. Um, I'm not going to show what it looks like hey then. Guys. So day two update, but first I want to share something with you. I ordered a phone case for my S8 and it came in today. Isn't this fucking beautiful? It was the last one that they had on eBay. It was like 13 bucks, and it's a wallet case. You know, I've got my my shit inside, um, and, uh, you know, it's a, just a normal wallet case, but it's got like, I don't know where the camera is on this phone. <laughs> it's got this cool metal bat and then this silver detailing on it, and then they have other designs with like a skull or an octopus, but I liked the bat better, so I took it off my phone so I could show you guys. Super stoked about that. Anyway, so... I can't even tell where my fucking camera is pointing. Day two of my tattoo and my tattoo. So now that I've washed my hair, cleaned up, got some sleep, 
this is what the side of my face one looks like now i'm really really happy with it i think it's it's subtle and it's there but it's not like oh my god what's this fucking big thing in her face i think it's far more subtle than these although these kind of fit in so much most people don't even know i've got my face tattooed which is really weird because i mean i see it but I, I wish I could tattoo over them because I don't know where they are. They've just gotten real faded and I'm not happy with them at all. But they seem to not stand out. So this one's nice and I fucking hope it stays. I'm going to be so upset if it fades like this one. Um, this is doing really good. So this is what it looks like today after I've cleaned it and stuff. Um, but it's not pretty. <laughs> but... uh. It's not doing too bad. It's been kind of hard to keep it open because when I close my arm like that, uh, there's that crease in the middle and then it gets kind of slimy and wet. And then I've got my cream that I put on it to kind of keep it from cracking. And then I've got to kind of sit like this or kind of sit like this and just keep it open. So that's the hardest part right now. Um, and then, you know, I can't put deodorant on it. So I just kind of wash it and then just tap it dry. Try not to get it too wet. But all in all, yeah, the experience was really good. It wasn't a bad one at all. And everybody's like, wow, I can't believe you did that. It must have hurt so bad because I guess the armpits looked at as somewhere that's really hardcore and really like, wow. But it's actually, for me personally, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it did hurt. It did sting. All tattoos hurt. But in the, in the overall picture of what I've gotten... It really wasn't that bad, and I, I'm super happy that I got it. I'm totally stoked. I love it to death. I think it's beautiful. Now, you know, just add a little bit of round, around it, darken it a bit, maybe add some more lashes. We didn't want to go too heavy. Um, what we tend to do is, is just kind of put an idea down, and then after I wear it for a while, I figure out what I want to add to it and what I don't. Like, this isn't done. I'm going to add some more red to it. I just wanted to start off a little... Now that I've ripped this dermal out, because I took the dermal out, um, we can darken this and then just kind of go over this whole thing and then add something because I've got the, you know, the skull on this other side. And I need some more splotches and just look like paint splatter just to kind of throw it on here. And everybody thinks this is an X and it's not. It's just supposed to be the start of a kind of trash polka look. Uh, if you don't know what trash polka is... Google it and you'll see that's kind of what this is supposed to be, but just the beginning of it because I wasn't sure exactly how heavy I wanted to go or what I wanted to do. So we'll add to that. It's all a work in progress little by little. You know, you can't just, you can add to stuff, but you can't take stuff away. So, so we start little and then we build it up. And so we're going to be building this up at some point, doing my other one, my foot and all this stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Like I said in my earlier video that I'll add to this one. Or I would have added to this one. I am, I'm really proud of myself for doing this because it was probably the one I was the most worried about after my stomach. But uh, I think I'm doing pretty good, getting pretty covered now, and um, I fucking love it. I love it so much. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me, and I'll answer the best I can. Hopefully, it's not much to say. It was just it was stingy, but it didn't hurt that much, and it's not really wet or weepy yet. Um, don't my armpit doesn't stink or anything and um it's doing great so cool uh let me know what you guys think i'd be eager to hear your opinions and i'll talk to you guys soon here are some pictures that i took i uh i wanted to take some pictures of it i was really bored um my hair is a bit floofy i need to redye it i mean i don't really need to but i want to because of my roots it's kind of faded a little bit um and so I threw on a wig and put lipstick on and I had no other makeup on and I threw on a just a corset and took some pictures. But here's a couple of my favorite ones from this morning and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye.